Hi guys, Cindy here with Genesis and I wanted to spend a few minutes telling you about downloads with your carriers and how you can access your information through the iBins Exchange interface. If you're not already using downloads, it's a great way to receive electronic information related to your policies. Most carriers do downloads. There are a few that don't, but you can always reach out to your rep to find out if they provide downloads to your agency. You will need an Ivan's mailbox to begin with, which your carriers can also provide to you if they sponsor those. And once you have that, you will receive an email that gives you a link to sign up for Ivan's Exchange. Once you've done so, you will go to the URL that you see right here on the screen, put in https colon slash slash exchange.ivansinsurance.com, put in your username and password, and you will have access to all of the information that's being sent to your Ivan's mailbox. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of what, about what that looks like. This is the dashboard. It shows you your agency name. It also shows you your Y account at the very top of the screen. You have two tabs here, dashboard and connections, and you can flip back and forth between those two. Your dashboard has information like all of your trading partners and it gives you a little graph that shows you how many transactions you've had with those trading partners over a certain period of time. It also shows you a graph with your available connections. You can click this link to see what your connections are as well. Then you have your agency transaction trends graph down here that shows you from 2015 to 2016 how many transactions you've had per line of business. Um, you can see all of your other lines of business over here on the side. You also have the ability here to drill down a little further. If you click the three bars over to the side of your screen, you can access your agency's profile and your mailbox. Let's take a look at the mailbox because that has some really relevant information. The first thing that you're going to do is make sure that you put in a date range. Ivan's will allow you to go back 90 days. So I'm just going to pick a date range here and then at the top where it says ECS mailbox, I am going to determine what I want to look at, which is either my recent policies and my claims. I can view what is still sitting in my inbox. I can look at what's in my outbox and I can also see my received files, my sent files or a mailbox summary. When I'm looking at this, I'm usually either looking at inbox or received files because I generally want to see if I've actually gotten a particular client from one of my carriers. So let's do received files in this case. Again, we'll put in our date range and we'll hit search. Once we do that, it gives us a list of all of the AL3 files that have been sent to us. I have learned that you can generally tell which company it is based on some of these prefixes. Like this is going to be Insurance House, this one's Inagon, TMIC is Universal, Orion is um, Dairyland. So you can get a little bit of an idea. Once you pick the one, let's say I'm looking for a client that came that was supposed to come from Insurance House. I want to see if they sent their renewal offer or not. I can click this file and I have the ability to see all of the clients that came in that file. Um, the cycle area over here kind of gives you an indication of what file type it was. RWL would be a renewal, PCH would be a policy change, RWQ would be a renewal quote, um, and there are a variety of others. I can also download this file again. So if I want to download it to my computer, I can do that and I have the ability to resend transactions. Let's go back out to the main screen again and I'll show you a couple of other things that you can do here. So if I search again, let's say I missed all of these or they went to the wrong place for some reason. I do have the ability over here to place a check mark, resend all of these files. Um, if something's sitting in your inbox, 
You can also place those files on hold if you don't want those to send. And right now I don't have anything in my inbox, but you see, I have the ability to check the box over here, place any particular AL3 files on hold, and then I can go back in and release those if I'd like. So that's just a quick summary of how you can use Ivan's Exchange. I hope that you guys find this useful. If you have any questions, um, let us know. Thanks.